Now look to the left of your screen. That's the number 15 car that Ken Schrader here qualified in February. Kenny can't be here. He com was previously committed to the ASA race that you'll see on TNN tomorrow. So Dale Earnhardt is in that car. We're getting ready to go green for the first of 300 laps. Steve Grissom leads them down to the green with Earnhardt alongside. And they swap a little bit of paint down in one and wind up out of two. Now into turn three and four, which is just freshly repaved. And giving the drivers a little trouble in practice, Grissom has the lead. Boy, you talk about just paved. They paved it yesterday, Mike, and it could be a problem. But what they? Big wreck right here coming off the fourth turn. Richard Lasseter and Ricky Craven. Craven in the DuPont finishes car. And the innkeeper, Pontiac, and Richard Lasseter of Little Rock, Arkansas. And at lap two, we are quickly under caution. We'll be right back from the Hickory Motor Speedway Mountain Dew 500 coverage exclusively on TNN. Today's exclusive coverage, we're just back under green and the single file restart lets this field sort out just a little bit. Mike, at the first of the race, Dale Earnhardt was caught on the outside on the restart. He's working the inside of Grissom here. Seems like his car really gets down in the corner good. Big reaction from the crowd. They either love it or hate it. Earnhardt has the lead. Grissom <laughs> didn't want to give it up without a fight, but he may lose second spot here as well as they freight train him on the inside. Well, that preferred line on the inside is really critical. There's Grissom is leading the race the last time they're here. He's going to be fifth as he crosses the start finish line this lap. Robert Presley roughed him up just a little bit, and Grissom slips in line in fifth position ahead of Darrell Waltrip and Ward Burton. Just went back to green after a second lap caution flag involving Richard Lasseter and Ricky Craven. Craven reported to his crew somebody just got in and bumped him from behind. No harm done. Both cars still in the race. Here comes Labonte right in behind Earnhardt. Really seems to get up off the corner. He's got the inside in on Dale. Getting that in the corner. Back off. But uh, looks like the 44 car is really strong right now. Jeff Burton there up underneath Kenny Wallace. And now Kenny caught to the outside. That's the wrong place to be caught on this racetrack because it's hard to hold your line. Now remember, a lot of these fast cars are coming out of the back of the field. Burton and Wallace. Jeff Burton started 26. And Kenny Wallace started 24th today. They work traffic. And still up front, Bobby Labonte is giving Earnhardt fit. It looks like his car is quicker right now. He's able to get in places on the racetrack. Dale can, but Dale's been up holding off. But Labonte's got a good strong move the inside now. Bobby Labonte goes to the lead, taking the Slim Jim car up front. Earnhardt in second, Steve Grissom third, and very quickly within 10 laps, we're into traffic. Lap traffic. Ricky Freeman gets the move over. Mike, and it's not just a single car. Once they clear this car, a few car lengths ahead, there's even more traffic. So it's going to be traffic all the way around the racetrack. Chuck Bound in trouble in four. Looks like he just got into that corner and the car would not cut to the left. He swept way up the racetrack and lost about six spots. Yeah. And he gets a big bump from behind from Jimmy Spencer in the middle of the back straightaway. And one car spins up into the fence, Jeff Green has spun and caught it pretty well up in turn two. At lap 18, Jeff Green spinning into the fence at the second corner. And that caution flag is quite a break for some of the drivers toward the back of the pack. Jay Fogelman, Richard uh, Lassiter among them. Tommy Houston as well was in danger of going a lap down. Well, we're coming to the eighth race of the season here in the uh, rain postponed event here at Hickory. Let's look at the Haviland update. 